In this video, we have a hyperbola h having equation x squared over 5 take away y squared equals 1. Describe a sequence of transformations which maps h onto the curve y squared take away 6y equals 5x squared take away 40x plus 76. Okay. Now, there, there may well be more than one way of doing this like, and uh, describing the transformation. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is we really want to get it into this format. Okay, if we can get one on the right hand side, that'll be the first thing. And we want x squared over five take away y squared. Okay, so let's see if we can get it into that form. So the first thing I would do is I would rearrange this to get y squared take away six y take away the five x squared plus 40x and then take 75 from both sides to get it equal to 1. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, what we might be noticing at this point is we've got the y squareds take away x squareds here and x squareds take away y squareds there, right? So that would inform me that the x's and y's have probably been swapped and so a reflection in the line y equals x has probably occurred, right? So, that means, that leads me to think, okay, well, if I could then get the y squared part um, over 5, okay, that would be the first instinct to get there, right? So, I'm going to use completing the square here on both the y's and the x's. So, first of all, on the y's, uh, we're going to get y take away 3 squared, and we've got an extra... 9 I've got to get rid of. Now with the x's, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the minus 5 and have x squared take away 8x inside the bracket. And we've still got the minus 75 is equal to 1. Okay. Right. So I'm going to leave this bit alone for the moment. Then I've got this minus 9 and the minus 75, uh, which is going to make minus 84. So I'll pop that at the end. Here I've got minus 5, and I'm going to complete the square on the inside, which is x take away 4 squared, uh, take away the 16. And we've still got the equals 1 on the right-hand side. OK. Right. Okay, so we've got the y minus 3 all squared. I'm going to expand this out to so minus 5 lots of x take away 4 squared. Um, then uh, minus 5 times minus 16 is plus 80. Take away the 84 equals 1. So 80 take away 84 is uh, minus 4. So if I actually I add the minus 4 to both sides, I will get um, 5. So I add 4 to both sides, I'll get the 5. Right, now if I divide through by 5, I get the y minus 3 squared over 5, which is what I wanted. Take away x minus 4 squared is equal to 1. Okay, so... Now we've got it in this form, you can see how closely it resembles this. So we've definitely had a reflection in the line y equals x. But the x has been replaced also with x minus 4, and the y has been replaced with y minus 3. So that would be a translation by the vector 4, 3. Okay? Now, which one of those came first, now, and did that translation actually occur first or not, right? So this is where we've got to be careful. So if we were to do it with this, if we were to start off by replacing the x and y, we, well, we're swapping the x's and y's, I'd get y squared over 5 take away x squared equals 1. 
Okay, so the first transformation we will do as the uh, reflection in the line y equals x. Okay, so that's the first transformation. If we've done that first, then the x is being replaced with x minus 4, which gets us um, the vector 4 and 3. Okay, so followed by a translation by the vector 4, 3. Okay, and so as I said, there may well be, um, so I'll just put reflection then, okay, to make sure it's clear on the order of transformations here um, that I've used. Um, so, as I said, there may well be other ways of um, describing the transformations, but that was the easiest one to spot for me. Okay, so really it's all about getting the algebraic manipulation, trying to get it into the form of the original curve so that then you can start spotting where the transformations have taken place.